Final question, question three. You are planning a winter surfing vacation. You will begin on the North Shore in Hawaii, try to catch the 50 year storm at Bells Beach, Australia, and finish your trip with a little long boarding on New Zealand's North Island. You estimate you will need $500 in each currency. How much Canadian will you need to spend? I'm just gonna separate that. I've highlighted the currencies that we're gonna use. Canadian, Australian, New Zealand, and USA. Unfortunately, they were all dollars, which is why we're going to use the abbreviations, and those are official abbreviations. So let's start with how much we need. So we need 500 US dollars. We need 500 Australian dollars, and we need 500 New Zealand dollars. We can do all of these and we're going to put this all together into one equation and do it all at the same time by multiplying each one by a fraction. 500 US dollars times, well, we've done this one before, 1.1218 Canadian dollars equals one US dollar plus 500 Australian dollars. Well, that is 84 cents over one Australian dollar plus our 500 New Zealand dollars. And we know that one New Zealand dollar is equal to 71 Canadian cents. Let's work this out. All we have to do is cancel off those units and do some multiplication and addition. I'm gonna dump that into a calculator and come up with $1,340.45 Canadian. Looking at these currencies, which one is more valuable? Well, that's gonna be the US dollar. The US dollar is worth more than the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar is worth more than the Australian dollar because one Canadian dollar is 84 cents Australian, but one Canadian dollar is a dollar 12 Canadian, and Australian is stronger than the New Zealand dollar. That's because 84 Australian cents is equal to 72 ish New Zealand cents. Okay, now let's do part B. When you land in Auckland, New Zealand, you discover that you still have 65 US dollars and 90 Australian dollars in your wallet. And you'd like to exchange that for New Zealand currency. Since we don't have exchange rates from New Zealand, to, from US dollars to New Zealand dollars, we're going to have to do an intermediate calculation to Canadian. So let's write what we have. We have 65 US dollars plus 90 Australian dollars. And we're going to convert that. I'm going to zoom this up. So 65 USD. And I'm going to multiply that and change it into Canadian because that's the only thing I know how to do. But I'm also going to change it into New Zealand. So let's change that in from Canadian to a New Zealand dollar. We know that one New Zealand dollar is 71 cents Canadian. And when I look at my conversions, US, US cancels, Canadian, Canadian cancels, and I'm left with just New Zealand on the top. I'm gonna to do the next one in the exact same expression. I've got 90 Australian dollars, and I'm gonna change that from Australian into Canadian. And it here, this is worth 84 cents. Now it's in Canadian. Now I'm going to change that the same way I did before into New Zealand. One New Zealand dollar is 71.68 Canadian cents. I go through Australian, Australian, Canadian, Canadian. And I'm just going to rewrite this expression because it will be easier. 65.1.1218 over 0 0.7168 Canadian, sorry, not Canadian, New Zealand. That's what we were left with here and here. 
plus 90 times 0 0.8423 divided by 0 0.7168 Canadian. I put that into my calculator and end up with $207.48, and that's New Zealand dollars. Just one more note here. We've simplified things a little bit. When you exchange money, the bank takes a cut. So you're not going to get the exact amount. A little percentage is going to go towards whoever is exchanging the money. That's the reason they do it. We're going to ignore that in this instance because we're looking at a little bit simplified, but think of that as more of a fee.